Yo, what's going on, Night Family? Welcome back to another video, guys, and welcome back to another fitness video. I haven't did a fitness video like this in a while, and guys, this video is old. This video was from like six months ago. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I gained by like 15, 20 pounds ever since then. I'm a little bit bigger than this, and I'm still cut. So right now, I'm just showing you guys my physique. This is just the intro. Um, I'm a little bit bigger than what I am now, you know? Uh, so, hey, if you guys do find yourself enjoying this video, please do leave a like under the video. Subscribe to the channel want to see more videos like this from me. Of course, I will be showing you guys my fitness journey, and I will be trying to gain weight. This is my weight gain journey. Uh, I've been three years on it, on and off weight gain. But this year of 2021, I'm definitely going to stick to it. I want to gain weight, and I'm tired of being skinny, guys. So right now, I'm at 150 pounds. In this video, I was around 134 pounds. So, yeah. So right now, I'll show you guys what I do to stay shredded. I just do arm extension like I have my arms. I don't know the correct term for it. I'm not a fitness guru, guys. So just work with me. Just be patient. So I do this around 10 times. I always make sure my uh, my arms are facing outward so I can work on the depth of my arms because you don't want skinny arms and skinny triceps. You want your triceps to work. After that, I do supersets. I like to do supersets on my good days. So I knock out 15 dips, knock them out right here and there because I'm working on my triceps. If I'm working on biceps, I do not hold my wrist pointing outward. Because if you have your, your arm pointing outwards, like your biceps and wrist and hand pointing outward, you're working on your inside of your arms when you do your curls. And also you work your triceps out with that too. So that's one thing I like to do when I try to get my arm depth in, get it wider, and I knock out about 10 shoulder presses. This is when I start a light. I like to start up with 25 pound dumbbells and do it around three times. Uh, I do the whole full superset three times, guys, and I switch up to a 30-pound uh, dumbbells and just knock it out, you know? And right now, I'm doing it again. Uh, I switch it up to this right here. This one can definitely help out your arms and build the depth in your arms and get your, you know, it keeps your pump going, basically. So when I hold the weight up with my right or left arm while I'm doing a curl, I can still feel the tension in my other arm, even if I'm not moving it. It keeps the tension in your muscles. You don't want to keep doing the same workout over and over again. I have like 10 sets or well, 10 different styles of curls that I like to do, guys, in, in different, you know, scenarios. So right now, I just drop down, do about like 15 dips, get that out the way, guys. And hey, man, I'm not the fitness guru. I don't know every little thing, every little word, every little phrase when it comes to working out, but I am trying my best to learn it. And I just superset it. I did this one more time after this. But I didn't vlog it or video it, stuff like that, you know. Uh, knocked it out the way. Guys, make sure that you're doing it just like I'm doing it. Because if you're just pushing it straight up without turning your arms inside, like you see how I'm turning my arms inside, making the dumbbell face the camera, then pulling it out vertically, whatever you want to call it, it ain't gonna get it right. So, this right here, I like to do this around 10 times, guys. I got 30 pound dumbbells. I switch it up, sit down, try to get more focus onto my. Uh, inside of my arms and also my biceps i want the inside of my biceps to look bigger because the inside of my biceps are still skinny that my elbow bone is still showing so i drop down and do some uh dips I do about like 15 of these sometimes i don't do 15 because my triceps are like killing me um sometimes i lower it down to like 10 8 depends on how i feel and stuff like that um guys you got to feel your workout man feel your workout make sure you do um Push yourself, dude. Just push yourself. Knock out about like 10 of these. It get tough. Um, today, that day was a shoulders, biceps, and triceps day. So I have arm day. So when I do arms day, I literally do shoulders, triceps, and biceps. This one right here works out your shoulders and it works out your triceps at the same time. This is my first time ever trying this out. I might look weird doing it and stuff like that, but I seen this on a video. Uh, this is just something new I'm doing. I never did this before, guys. I'm not going to lie to you or anything like that. It's my first time ever doing this. So I heard it works out your triceps and it can work out your shoulders depending on how you're doing it. So right now, I switch it up to doing the single arm curls. Uh, I'm not sure how many times I did this. I'm not going to lie to you guys at all. Um, yeah, so I knocked that out the way. I feel the pump. When you do this right here with some slightly medium heavy weights, these are 30 pound dumbbells. Uh, max out at 40 pound dumbbells so my arms are feeling kind of fatigued just knock it out push it through your boy sit down for a while and get down to the to the uh, dips today i work mostly working on my triceps so when i go into the gym i mostly work on my triceps guys because my triceps are skinny 
I got big biceps with skinny triceps. You don't want to be that guy like me with your elbow bone poking out. Like my elbow bone is literally poking out. It shows a lot. Drop down, do some shoulders. Uh, my shoulder is literally weak, guys. I got weak shoulders. I'm not going to lie to you. My freaking shoulders pops every time. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of shoulder presses. Been doing a lot of butterflies and stuff like that to get my shoulder stronger. And this right here, I don't normally do this on arm day. I normally do this on chest and back day and ab day. So I just seen some good looking girls in the gym and I wanted to show out, you know. You know, bitches like dudes who athletic. So your boy had to show out what he could do. I had to show what I can do, man. Honestly, I had to show, I had to show what I can do. I had to get some girls' attention. My arms were kind of sore on this, at this moment. So, hey, I, my form wasn't that good. When I was doing my muscle ups, I was struggling a little bit and I was making deep breaths. So, hey, <laughs> when you see some good looking girls in the gym, you guys know you gotta fucking start showing out a little bit. That's one thing about it. And one thing about my video, guys, I like to add my humor into it. I'm not your professional guy who all needy and greedy who knows what the hell he talking about. You know, look at the moves. Bam. Woo. Damn. Boy, like Chris Brown out there. Fam, what's up? And right here, guys, I like to add this to my workout. I, I usually go heavier than this. But today, I knew I was going to do some more tricep workouts, so I went like a medium weight with this. I do this about 10 times, overhead, tricep, push-up thing. I don't know what you call it. Seen a lot of people doing this. It works out your triceps. I like it. Makes me feel good. And I continue to do it. Uh, back to what I was saying about me. My video, guys. Hey, look at this. Bam. Woo! Had to do the motherfucking hotline bling. But me... I'm a very humorous guy, so I can't stay serious for a long time. I don't know why. Probably kind of childish, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, hope you guys enjoy my sense of humor. If not, hey, I'm just not the guy for you. But my fitness video is always going to be funny. My fitness video is always going to be me joking around and so telling you guys what I do. This is just my fitness journey. I'm not a fitness guru, like I said before. I'm going to sound like a broken record every time I make a video like this. So I'm not a fitness guru. I'm a skinny-ass dude, six foot one, 150 pounds. Undersized, bro. I'm undersized. Undersized. I should be around 170 at minimum at six foot one. But hey, it is what it is. So I knock these out about three, three or four times. I do them. Then I just, you know, do them three or four times. Then I drop down and do some dips. So I like to work out my triceps a lot lately. I've been doing triceps workouts a lot lately because I want my triceps bigger. But my biceps is a lot bigger than my triceps. I want my arms to look kind of bigger. I want my arms to look kind of meaty. meaty. Well, my arms should look wider. And this right here, guys, I started freaking doing this again. I felt it in my shoulders more than my triceps. Not sure if I'm doing it right. And I might not be strong enough to uh, pull my body up like that. So right now, I'm going to skip from this room over there into the gym. So these right here, I think 30 pounds, 35 pound uh, dumbbells. So I'm doing shoulder presses with these. I'm going to do this about 10 times. Make sure you get all the way up. Extend your arms. You never want to cheat yourself in working out. You never want to be that guy in the gym half-assing it. You always want to be that guy in the gym making sure you get the full arm extension. Even when you're doing squats, bang, bang, bang. You already know. Make sure you get the full leg squat. Make sure you get all the way down. You don't have to have your ass touching the ground. You just get horizontal. But any workout I do, I like to give it 100%. I like to make sure I'm doing like full extensions. I never like to cheat myself. Uh, shoulder presses, I never like to cheat myself. Butterflies, I never like to cheat myself. And this move I'm about to do right here, guys, I think it's like the back workout. No, nah, this is not it. I moved up to 40 pound dumbbells. I think do a 45 pound dumbbells. I'm about to do. I think I'm gonna do this about six times. One, two, three. <laughs> That's all I got in me. Three of them hoes. 45 pounds of my max right there, guys. You can see. And I do this about 10 times, and I do like five sets of these. Uh, I like to work out my back because I know I'm lacking in the back. Uh, my back is like very skinny. So a lot of people tell me I need, I need to do more back workouts. Uh, I need to do more tricep workouts, more leg workouts. Obviously, you don't want to be that guy with skinny legs. So I do about like 10 butterflies. I do these five sets at the same time. I do five sets of 10s with the butterflies and I do five sets of 10 with the uh, when I lean forward and do my arm thing. I don't know what you call it, but do five sets of these right here. Makes you feel good in your back and it works out your shoulder, back of your shoulders too. Uh, my shoulders used to be weak and my shoulders getting a little stronger. Anytime somebody who's heavier than me going at me in basketball, I stick my arm out, 
it can literally pop my shoulder. My shoulder literally pops a lot. So right now, hey, I can feel it in my shoulders. My shoulder's starting to feel good. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. But hey, dude, I hope you guys is find yourself enjoying today's video. If you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, want to see more videos like this from me, of course. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of me, some videos of me, uh, show you guys my physique, show you guys what I'm working with. Hey man, I hope you guys find yourself enjoying this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel. Follow my Instagram if you're watching this video on my Instagram and you made it this far on the Instagram video. Hey, just give me a follow. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.